the rotator on the NS14 moves side to side and it's only limited by this and it's held in position in conjunction with the bank. Now you wonder why you would have two to one on an item like this. It's not to make it easier to pull, it's to make the adjustment fine so that where you pull one inch here, it's only pulling a half inch at this point out here. So you can see here if I adjust that, I've let an inch of rope off. This has only moved a very small amount. If that was a one to one setting, by the time I cleat that, it will have moved that same amount again. By having two to one, it simply allows you to move it to your next calibration mark and you're able to move this in very precise amounts. Okay, the initial setup of the angle for your rotator is best done by looking at the batten at the top of your jib. Now, that batten up there is the first batten to not be affected by the jib, so that's the one you want to really be doing the effective work with the wing mast. Now, as you can see there, this is a normal mark setting for this boat for uh, moderate upwind conditions. The batten at that point continues through in a line through to the front of the mast. So if you just projected that batten just above the numbers there right through and imagined it continued, it would end up the front of the mast. Now if you let it out too far, you can see you're presenting way too much of the front of the mast to the wind, okay, and that batten ends up pointing down to the leeward side. If you don't have enough rotation and you straighten it up, you can see there you're just presenting a big stall and the back of the sail doesn't work effectively anymore. So just simply put, look up the lee side, set it to a point where the batten would continue through to the front of the mast and then you've got a base setting which you can work from there depending on the water and what you require out of the sail.